In the end, you will have this Instagram Scraper Pro version that scrapes followers, followings, profile data, hashtags, comments, emails, and phone numbers from Instagram profiles. In this previous free scraper, we were able to scrape followers by using a Python script. But in this scraper, you will only need Docker installed. So go to docker.com and in the download section, download Docker for your operating system. I'll leave a link to my Telegram in the description where you will get access to this file with the Docker image you need to run this scraper. Now that you have Docker installed and the image ready, open your terminal on the exact folder where your downloaded Docker image is, or just have the exact path of where the image is, and run this command docker image load dash dash input and the image name or the full path where the image is. On docker desktop you see we don't have any image yet. After running the command the image will be installed in docker. If you open docker desktop you will see that we have an Instagram scraper latest image. Hit this run button and you will be presented with a dialog needed to run a container. Set these details on optional settings put any container name you want. In the port section put 8501 this is the exact port on your machine where the container will run. Note you can put any port you want provided it is open. Hit the run command, a container will be opened. And here in the log section you can have two or more URLs that we can use to run this container. We only need the local URL, but if you are running this container in AWS or a VPS, use these other URLs which will work remotely. Copy the local URL link and open it to your browser. Now you have full access to Instagram Scraper Pro with all features you need to scrape Instagram. Now we need to set few things for proper scraping. On the left side menu top button click session manager, here we need to add account sessions and residential proxies. If you're scraping large scale 1000 plus profiles daily, you will need three and more aged accounts. Do not use your main account for scraping, it can be blocked or suspended. To add a session, you can use the first option to add an already logged in Instagram session ID in your browser. This is useful if you have CAPTCHAs to solve in your account, you do that externally, then copy and paste the session ID here. This next session is where the script will log in and save your session ID automatically. Make sure your scraping accounts don't require two-factor authentication or they have an issue since it will not log in. Solve that externally then come back and log in. You can add one account or multiple accounts which will be logged in at once. Next thing we need are residential proxies. I will leave a link to the site decodo.com, which was smartproxy.com, and purchase these residential proxies. In my opinion, the pay-as-you-go plan works fine, but feel free to purchase according to your need, provided they are residential or mobile since only these work with Instagram. On your residential dashboard, you will see you have a username, password, host, and ports that we need. In the ports section, you see this beginning digit mine is 10,001. Yours might be different or same. This is the mine port, and you can set here in the range option all the proxies you have, but mainly add 25,000 to the minimum port. That will be the maximum port you need. Now add all these details in the scraper and click enter, and you should have these buttons after doing that. Use the delete proxy file to remove the proxy file if you need to rectify if proxies have an issue. Let's now scrape followers. Click followers scraper, and you will need to verify your proxies that you added, so click this verify proxies button. And if your proxies were added correctly, you will get this proxy verified. If not, redo the proxy, adding again, and verify. Put a target username you would like to scrape. I will add mine, then adjust the amount. For demo, I will put 200, but you can put zero to scrape all followers. Click Start Scraping and give it time. And it's done. Let's check here in the View Followers tab, and indeed the followers we needed are scraped. To export the followers, go to the Export Followers tab, and here you can export in any format you want. I will do Excel and click Download and click Save to Save in my machine. You may ask, what if the scraper fails when I am in a given amount of followers? No worries, you can start where you left off. Just make sure you have validated your sessions. You will have this dialog named Resume Scraping This, where any failed scrape will be just select the account you need to resume, put their username in this target username section, and put the limit you want zero for all followers. It will scrape from where it failed at up to your limit. And that is how you will scrape Instagram easily. If you have reached this far, thank you. And if you have access to the scraper, you should have access to me for any questions you need answered. Next, I will show you how to scrape following, so subscribe to stay tuned.